What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Last time, we finally got to the Lador Estate, and we're getting details from Layton's old friend about what's going on in town. Why don't we go ahead and resume where we left off. Angela, do you know for certain that he is the actual Mask of Chaos? After all, that mask was lost with Randall. Who's Randall? Randall Ascot was my best friend and the one who discovered the mask. Professor, your best friend discovered the Mask of Chaos? So you haven't told them about Randall or the mask? No, I was hoping for... Honestly, I don't know what I was hoping for, Angela. What is it, Professor? You can tell us. Randall discovered the mask and then... What happened after that was my fault. You mustn't blame yourself, Herschel. Since the accident, Henry has gone into those ruins many times searching. All these years, searching for Randall. Henry found the mask, Herschel. He what? Yes. He discovered it during one of his excursions and found a great deal of treasure as well. He came upon it in one of the caves. If he found the mask, then, was there... Unfortunately, no. There was no sign of Randall anywhere. Henry's still searching for him, Herschel. Aside from his work and his family, it's the only thing he thinks about. I can't say that I blame him. I often catch myself thinking of Randall, even after all these years. Your pendant. Yes, you remember. I love it so, even if it has aged a bit. Not unlike us. Of course I remember it. I never apologize for how I treated you, Herschel. You must forgive my silence all these years. I knew it wasn't your fault, but I just couldn't accept that Randall was gone. I want to say it was because I was young, but that's no excuse. I needed someone to blame, Herschel. I'm sorry. I was completely insensitive to the fact that Randall was your best friend as well. Angela, don't. I never held anything against you. I couldn't save Randall. And I broke my promise to you. It is my greatest regret that my recklessness and poor judgment cost my best friend his life. It haunts me even to this day. Oh, Herschel. I'm so sorry. I know it's been difficult on us all. The mask reminds me so much of Randall. As does my pendant. I protested, but Henry insisted the mask stay in the house. You kept the mask here? Then how did the masked gentleman come by it? It was stolen about a month ago. And this coincided with the first appearance of the masked gentleman. More or less, yes. Herschel, I want you to catch this villain. I want the mask and I want Randall's memory to be left in peace once and for all. I will do my best. Can you show me where you kept the mask? In Henry's study. He keeps it locked and I doubt he'll be home tonight. He's been out more and more lately. It's because Henry's the bad guy! Is that so? In that case, we will take our leave for the evening and return tomorrow. Thank you, Herschel. For everything. I reserved a room for you at the... Dromedary? It's just west of the city monument. You can't miss it. Oh, well, thank you. That was very kind of you, Angela. Hold on, let's look around, though. Bound to find some sort of money here. There we go. I'm just looting your place, don't mind me. We've stumbled upon a hidden puzzle here. Rabbits? On a chessboard? No, not. it's like a mini chessboard. Here are some rather unusual rabbit toys. There are three rules. The rabbits can only move by jumping horizontally, diagonally, or vertically over other rabbits. They can jump over any number of rabbits at once. Okay, a white rabbit will turn brown when jumped over and vice versa. Can you make all the rabbits here turn brown? Hmm. Uh, any white rabbits that crosses over will turn brown. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well let's see what I can do. Um... Oh, I don't know about this. No, one of them has to go back. Okay. Maybe it's... No, hold on. 
Uh... Maybe I'm trying to move the wrong one here. Or like, okay, I gotta move one of these first, probably. Okay. Now let's see what else I can do. Move that there. Move this here. Brown. Ooh, I'm close, but... Hold on. Ah... Um... No. I'm sort of guessing here, but not doing so well. I feel like I'm close. Oh man, so close. Oh, you can go diagonally, right. I completely forgot you can do that. Well, that kind of changes things. Oh. Maybe I should restart it. That was no match for my wits. That was, uh, yeah, I, I, oh, that was really difficult. How many- oh, that was- yeah, that was really hard. It proved challenging, to be sure. I didn't expect any- oh, man. Okay. If you cross Gallery Plaza and continue west through the Merchant District, you'll see the Dromdairy. It's good to see you, Angela. We'll talk more tomorrow. Get some rest. Okay. I guess I'll get a move on then. Oh, no, 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 no. Back to the map, yes. My stomach is growling terribly, Professor. Let's head to the hotel. Certainly. But before we do that, I'd like to do a bit more work. That is, if your stomach has the patience. Oh, uh, of course. I think I'm just famished for clues. Let's return to Carnival Square. I'd like to take another look at the scene there. Well, let's get to it then. Okay, too bad Bucky's not around to give us a walk. Alright, oh. Oh, excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. My apologies, sir. Oh, are you Professor Herschel Layton? I see you have me at a disadvantage. Oh dear me, I do beg your pardon. My name is Morty. A pleasure to meet you. I am Mr. Henry Lidore's assistant. Might I ask just how you are familiar with Professor Layton? Oh, Mrs. Lidore told us some days ago to expect your arrival, and here you are. She said I would know you by the hat. Please allow me to introduce you to Luke Triton and Emmy Altava. A pleasure. I trust that you have already met with Miss Lidore? Yes, however we weren't able to speak with Henry. Angela said that he is otherwise engaged currently. Oh yes, with yet another appearance by the masked gentleman, I'm sure Mr. Lador will have his hands full for the rest of the night. But I will inform Mr. Lador that I saw you here. Please forgive him for not greeting you himself. My duties tonight are as plentiful as they are urgent. You must excuse me, a pleasure meeting you. Likewise, Morty, thank you. If Mr. Lador has an assistant, he must be just as important as you, Professor. Well, I'm sure Henry's more valuable to Montador than I ever could be, Luke. Let's investigate Carnival Square once more. Perhaps we can find something that will help lighten Henry's workload. Okay. I was hoping he would give me some kind of transportation. Okay. Oh, okay. Those footsteps! Could it be? Yes, the feet of a gentleman never lie. I know you even without my eyes seeing you. Where is Aldous, you ask? Hidden, he answers. Use the zoom I told you about earlier. Zoom, my lovely zoom! Zoom here? Where? What's here? Oh! Miraculous! It seems you have mastered the zoom. The hairs on my head have never been happier. Okay, well, what's here? Hint coin? 
Uh, oh! Another hint coin! A third hint coin! You found me with such ease! I knew my faith in your abilities was true! Bravo! Why, thank you! Did you wish to speak with us about something? Ah, uh, yes, well, if you do not mind, I have something important to show you. See that metal box down there? Place your magnifying glass on it and give it a tap. Oh, not, not, not that, oh, sorry, this one. Success! An item for your collection. You are now like a museum with feet. Montador hides many odd items and rare works of art. Find these pieces and build your collection to increase your overall joy. As your collection expands, so shall your heart swell with wonder. The hidden items are many, as are the places in which they reside. Enjoy! I shall definitely look forward to creating a notable collection, Altus. Thank you. I have no doubt that you speak the truth. And in anticipation of such words, I have prepared a special thing for you. Remember where our destinies crossed earlier in Carnival Square? The wooden box that was there? Be sure to check it again. And now that I have graciously shared my wisdom with you, I bid you... Adieu, ma petite chauffeur. He instantly appears to impart his gems of wisdom, and just as quickly, he's gone. <laughs> you got the collection from Aldous. A collection has been added to the professor's trunk. Any treasures you find will be stored here. You can view them at any time. Never a boring moment in Montador. Now let's make our way to the fountain. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No time to waste. Da -da 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 -da. I'm Colette. I'm with the circus, but I'm sure you could have figured that out. You look like smart people. I should be on stage now, but some of our equipment was damaged when those poor people returned to stone. Yes, that was quite a scene, wasn't it? Why would anyone do something like that? Everyone was having fun at the parade, and that guy turns people to stone and just ruins everything? What a jerk! Sorry if that sounded negative. I didn't mean that. I hate being negative. Hey, how about a puzzle to lighten things? Ooh, this looks interesting. A toasty toast. I like a toasty toast. After a long day of performing, the members of the circus troupe have changed into their street clothes and are celebrating another successful show with some hot chocolate. There is at least one member of the troupe who is not present. Who is in the tent? Select each person who is there. Okay. So, let's see here. Someone with pointy hair is overlapped on top of this guy with a pompadour. I'm assuming that's his hair. Let's see, someone with really curly hair with a haddish look. Hold on. So, this this girl with the... That, that hairdo is there. Who has such curly hair? Is that the woman? And it looks like someone's lying down. Someone who has a sort of a pointy head? Or, hmm. Is the big guy there lying down? He might be. If that's him lying down, everyone but that guy in the... Is everyone there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, f Oh my god, everyone's there, I think. Don't keep me in suspense. No? Hmm. Perhaps I need another look. Take a deep breath and try again. Okay. Let's try removing the guy with the- Oh, wait, but- Oh, that's a flower plant! That's not a person on the right. Get, there we go. Okay, this'll do it. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Gotcha! That was a challenge, to be sure. Aha! All members aside from the chap second from the right are present and accounted for. Let's hope they don't stay up too late. Great job! You really are a pretty smart bunch. Keep it up! The world always needs more smart people to figure things out. 
Do you know anything about these strange things happening around town? They started about the same time we got here. The police think this masked madman is some kind of magician, but these are no simple tricks, I tell you. Magic shouldn't be used to harm people or cause chaos. Anyway, unless the chaos was making rainbow puppies or something. I couldn't agree with you more. Someone needs to stop this mask freak so that people can enjoy Montador again. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, but on we go. Things seem to have calmed down here. Yes, it appears that the statues have been cleared away. We should search for any clues that were left behind. Okay, let's see. Did you see it? That masked gentleman is so talented, I can barely control myself just thinking about him. People turn into stone? What a show, what a show! That was no show, miss. Madeleine, call me Maddie. And you're telling me it was no show? It was an experience is what it was, pure genius. You saw the most recent dark miracle? No, she didn't. Saw it? I didn't just see it. I felt it. I lived it. At one point, I wondered if I was it. It changed me, truly. I love the mask work. I haven't seen a piece without- Oh, rot with such tension in quite a while. Not since this puzzle, anyway. Good segue. Very good segue. Colorful flags have been strung up all over town for the carnival. There are seven different flags arranged in several different sequences. One such three flag sequence is shown in the top right corner, okay? How many times does this sequence flags appear in the strings of uh, flags shown above? Let's see. So we have blue, weird rectangle, green. Blue, rectangle, green. In that specific order? If it's that specific order, then... Um... This is a tricky one. It seems like none. No times. Because there, there are sequences with them in it, but not that specific... I feel like it's none. How about this? Let me reconsider that. Hmm. Well, if it's not in that order, it happens at least once. But it looks like only once. Only once. Yeah. Hold on, what's... Three flag sequence. Okay, I'll try one. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing well, wrong. That won't do at all. I need a clue. Okay, where's the hints? Here they are. Look very carefully at the flags decorating the town. The easiest way to start is by first locating any one of the three flags. You can look for the white and purple flag, then you can check the flags left and right to see whether they match the sequence. Did you spot the sequence near the top left? Top left corner? It won't be as easy to find other instances. There are a lot of flags that look similar at first glance, but are actually quite different. Speaking of which, did you notice that the flags are double-sided? The flags you see with their designs reversed are hanging all the way around. What? Wait, what? The flags you see with their designs reversed are hanging the other way around. Since the flags are double-sided, you'll need to consider what this, this scene looks like from the other side. In other words, you should look for places where these same three flags appear, but with the order reversed. All three of these flags are symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about sequence changing when you look from the other side. So yours trying to tell me... Um... Uh... So let's see here. We've got one here. One that looks like it starts here.
Does that mean the back of green, green white is actually this one? So this is one of them? Oh no, it's right there. Oh shoot. Well, if I exclude, if I exclude the one that kind of starts but isn't completely finished, that does leave two of them. I believe I have this one. Okay, I guess that was it. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. The sequence appears twice, once when you look at the flags from the front and once from the other side. Yeah, wait, I think those are the ones I saw. Wonderful! That was almost as impressive as the masked gentleman. Any chance you know him, I'd love to meet him. The mask, the suit, brilliant! You hear me? Do you hear me? Die, brilliant! Professor, if I may interject here for a moment, the masked gentleman could be anywhere right now. Good point, Emmy. He has protected his identity in a town full of masked individuals. Yes, there are masks everywhere. The town is filled with them. Wait, does that mean that everyone here is a genius? Oh my. There's a boutique over in the merchant district that rents costumes. I know they have lots of masks over there. Do you think that the masked gentleman does his shopping there? Okay. Halt you! No walking! I mean, stop there! Where you're walking? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Should I be walking somewhere else? You almost destroyed some important evidence there, lad. Oh, have you found something, officer? Oh, yes. We didn't just find something. We really found something. See these footprint hoofprints? Mighty suspicious, eh? They're all marked up with footprints from the tourists running everywhere. But they go in the very same direction the masked gentleman went. How's that for some real police work? Well, I suppose that may be helpful. Have you talked to any witnesses? Have we talked to witnesses? We're the police! Of course we have! Well, I mean, we thought about it anyway. But we'll grill those witnesses just as soon as we find them. See, it's very hard to find witnesses in a tourist city like Montador. At least we got all the statues in custody. They won't be giving us any more trouble. Now we just have to find out who they were. I realized that most of the people here were tourists when I was asking around. No one seemed to know much about the Lodores. Only our residents would know about the Lodores. Good people, big house. If you need any general information on Montador, I know someone over in the Merchant District you should talk to. Her name is... it's uh... Eloi? No, that's not it. Jillian? No, that's not it either. I know she's a woman. Well, she's a woman with the name and her shop is over in the Merchant District, just west of Mont Sarton Gallery. I see, thank you. We'll look for a shopkeeper there. Oh, now we're supposed to head to the Merchant District. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and end this video here then for now? Uh, and next time we'll pick up at the Merchant District. So until then, bye-bye!